Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Janet Anaoku. I'm from Anambra State, Nigeria, but I live in Italy with my family, my husband and my two children. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my Nigerian fried rice. And just in case you are passing by for the first time, if this is your first time of watching this video, please do a sister a favor by subscribing to this channel, like my video and share to your friends if possible. So before we start, I also want to thank those who have been coming back to watch my video. Thank you a lot. Every minute of your time means a lot to me. So let's start by showing you guys all the ingredients we'll be needing for this recipe. So guys, these are the ingredients I'll be needing to make this fried rice. Over here, as you can see, I have my bell pepper, three different colors. I have the yellow one, I have the green one, and I also have the red one. And here I have my curry powder, my thyme, salt, over there I have my gizzard, not gizzard anyway, liver. I have green pea and I have my carrots. And over here I have the main ingredient, rice. Inside the pot I have my stock that I boiled earlier today. So I'll be showing you, I will be showing you guys the meat that came out of it later on. So inside this stock, I have my cubes, onions, scotch bonnet pepper, garlic, ginger. In fact, all the season I have inside this pot. So we'll start now by adding the, my rice. My rice has been thoroughly washed earlier today. Now I just have to taste and see if I'll be adding some salt because if you need to add anything, now is the right time. Let me taste and see if I'll be needing some salt in it. No, everything is okay here. I really don't need any other ingredients. All I can add now is I think I need to add some uh, curry powder. So guys, I'm going to be adding some curry powder. We all know fried rice to be famous in its yellowish color. So in order to achieve that yellow, flashy yellow color, we need to add enough curry. So I just added it now. And let me stir. I think I should add some time. So we're just going to cover now for let's say five seven minutes then I'll come back later and see how it's doing so guys this is our rice after seven minutes as you can see the yellow color is okay I transfer it into a plastic bowl just because I didn't want to, the rice to be sticking together so that's the reason why I transfer it into this place so now we're going to start by frying the vegetables. Let's go ahead. So over here I added a, I started by pouring some little, just little amount of vegetable oil into the pan. And then I add my carrots, green pea, liver, and the, the bell pepper. 
it will be the last thing I'm going to add because it's, it, it's just too soft, soft. So I'm keeping it for last minute. So let's fry our vegetables. With just little amount of oil. Allow to fry. We're going to leave it to fry for two three minutes then it's okay so guys my vegetable has been frying for over four minutes and i'm going to be adding the rice now So this is the time to pour in the bell pepper. I'm going to allow to fry for extra five minutes. This is why it is called fried rice because it needs some crunchiness in it. So we need to fry a little more bit. So this is our rice after five minutes. It has fried enough. And I just like the way that it looks. So I'm going to be transferring it into a pan and redo it again. I'm going to repeat the step over and over until I finish my rice. So guys, this is my fried rice after I repeated the frying for so many times. This is the outcome. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you all for stopping by. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you and God bless you all.